Hey, do you like playing with paint, paper, glue, scissors, inks, dyes, gel plates? My name's Lee Elks and I love to play around with all of those things and create mixed media art and make junk journals. So on that note, let the creating begin. Hello Crafty Pals, it's Lee here again. Thanks for joining me. So week 43, Marguerite Miller. Only about 10 weeks of the year left if we count week 43 as well. So getting on with it, aren't we? So the prompts for this week is something from a calendar, a border or a frame, brown paper or a paper bag piece, a symbol of heraldry, a place, and the bonus is handwriting. So I've glued a piece of uh, tea stained paper onto my page here already. And the things, oh, well, I've got a stencil, I'm going to do a little bit of stenciling. So the things that I've found, um, something from a calendar, where is, it? where is it? Here it is. So that's part of a calendar, but I particularly like this piece, these flowers here, so I'm not sure what I'll use. Uh, a border or frame, well there we go, there's that. I do have some border stamps, I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I don't particularly like, I don't like that that much, you know but it was the only one that I could find at the time. So I'll probably have a dig around. Uh, I usually find stuff, you know, during the process of making something and change my mind several times as we do. So brown paper or a paper bag piece. So I've got a piece of brown printed paper. So that's from one of my digital kits. Piece of a paper bag, scrap of brown paper. But I've also got this here, which is um, packing paper from Amazon. When you get it, it's, you get this stuff packed around your order. It's two pieces joined together. It's a different colour on one side to the other too. So one's a cooler colour, the other one's more a warm colour. Got a piece of that, so I'm going to make up my mind what I'm doing with that. A symbol of heraldry. Now this was the hardest one. For me, I um, mean, I could have printed something off, but I didn't want to do that. A crown or a flag or a coat of arms or something is what comes to mind when I think of heraldry. I've got this little tea bag packet, which has got a crown on it. I'm not sure if you can see that, and Queen Victoria on that side. I also found this picture from an Australian history book, and it's got God Save the Queen across there. It's got some sort of shield or something there. It's got a crown there. It's got flags. I think I'll use that rather than this. And my place, I'll, I found this picture of the Blue Mountains, which I absolutely love. Um, I've painted quite a few paintings of the Blue Mountains. I love that contrast of the purpley looking mountains and the red rocks. So that's my place. And the, the bonus is handwriting. So the first thing I want to do is to actually put some stenciling on to my page. I've glued this down, look it's an A4 piece of paper and I've just left the edges overhanging because I want them to become mucked up, you know, wrinkly and torn and old looking so I'll um, ink that as well. So I'm just using my dauber to get a little bit of this down. I mainly want to get it on the edges because that's where it's going to be seen. This is only a really cheap, cheap, cheap stencil it was like two dollars or something for about five or six uh, from the old cheapo shop I've used it for um, I've put texturing stuff through it texture paste I should say and paint so I'm just going to go over these edges Raggedy old look. Okay, so that's done. Now let's have a look at what I've got here. I've got that brown paper. I really want to use that. I've got this here. So that's quite large. So I'm going to cut around that. So that's a bit shiny. I hope it's not reflecting too much stencil here. This is a PM Artist Studio stencil, this one. And I think I might just add a couple. 
bits of that in. I think it actually works better with paint on the gel, gel press than with the dauber. That'll do. Okay, so this, do I want to ink around it? Um, probably. The brown paper, I'm not sure. Should I use that? needs to be torn across the top. I have a rub-on frame. I hope the rain, the sound of the rain and the cars isn't too loud. <laughs> Every time I start recording people seem to, noisy cars seem to come past. I've got the window open because it's quite warm. Yesterday I released my number four video about my uh, special papers. So if you want to check that out, there's a link for it in the right, up and click on the I up in the right hand corner. I don't think I'm going to use that, don't like it. I think I will use a piece of this instead, or maybe this little scrap. Don't want that because it's too red. So that a little bit of that up there. So I'm going to rip that out, and I'll just quickly ink around the edge of that. So if I do that, do that. And then this will have to go somewhere else. There. I don't want the straight edges showing. Turn it around that way. A bit more of it under there. I'm going to do something different and I'm going to use this stamp, which is uh, like a film frame. Yeah, like a film strip. That's going to be my frame. That needs to come down the page a bit. And I'm just going to glue glue everything down. I'm trying not to be too indecisive today and get it done quick. And don't think about it too much. Don't uh, procrastinate. That's the word. <laughs> that down there. I think I'll just tack that down out here otherwise I'm not going to end up seeing any of those flags or the bits and pieces that I put together for that little montage and then that was going to go there like that or underneath underneath I think looks better so that I'll just put a little bit of glue on the edge of that and to hold that in place it can go there like that I've got a little bit of brown paper. I can't remember where that was going to go. Maybe something like that. Perhaps blue there. Oops, oopsie. That. I wish I hadn't stuck that way. I might have to go here like this. Can I get it up? It's probably too late. Oh anyway, it's still a bit damp. Okay. It needs to be up a little bit higher. I thought I wanted it down there, but I don't. And then that can go. There, I think. Yeah, I do have another stamp that I would like to put some of on there. Just a little bit of, of text with some circles, rough circles. Yeah. Look on there. Just 
to come this down. another stamp on this that I'm going to put a little bit of stamping on and this is some scribbly text I think I'll use the vintage photo yeah, I like that I might even put a bit of it over here okay, so something from a calendar a border or frame which is that brown paper symbol of heraldry is all those things that are in there the place is the blue mountains the bonus is handwriting do i want to put any handwriting in there i might just put a little bit in stuff everywhere here do you think somebody would keep my room tidier for me Come on. just write the beautiful blue mountains there and do i splatter I don't know about splattering, but I need to add a little bit more glue here. And I'm, yes, I've got to get my metallic watercolours out. Oh, that rain's really coming down there. It's a great crafting day. So I'm just going to spray some water all over these ones. Just the goldy coloured ones. I don't particularly like that white gold. I'm going to get my trusty old uh, fan brush. Might need a bit more water, maybe. Just ones that stand out a little bit more than the others. Uh, I think this is just a little bit crowded and dark, so I'm going to put some gesso around it. So if I put the gesso on, then it um, because it dries sort of semi-transparent, it's going to let that stenciling show through, but um, not to, for it to be so dominant. It's mainly this area down here, I think that's a bit overwhelming. So I'm just going to go right over that. You can always fix things. Gesso hold, hides a uh, multitude of sins. So I'm going over that watercolour paint there, which is still a bit wet. And um, so it will need a couple of coats to get that covered up. So I just keep working this area. there. Well, that's looking a little bit better. Um, I think that needs just a bit more here. Maybe over that. There's just too much before. It looked alright until I took a photo of it and then I thought, oh no, I don't like it. Yeah. 
And I'll start looking now. It's a little bit better. So I'm just going to go over that stamping there again. It's surprising how dark the vintage photo goes after it's dried. I always thought of it as a light colour, but I really don't think it is anymore. That's better. I think that's less crowded. What do you think? Let me know in the comments whether you liked it before I did that or after it. I don't think I should have put that second lot of stenciling in with that little stencil that sort of didn't help, didn't enhance it in any way. It seemed like a good idea at the time but yeah I don't think it was. Okay so we'll leave it again and this time it's cheers from Australia. <laughs> Hooroo.